Hey guys, we're getting closer to that time now where Samsung thinks about announcing their new Galaxy Note phone, probably going to be called the Galaxy Note 3, so we're getting a lot of rumors about it. One of the biggest rumors today is that it's going to have 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now we know all the major smartphones right now have 2 gigabytes, like the Nexus 4, the HTC One, the Samsung Galaxy S4, Xperia Z, they all have 2 gigabytes of RAM. And so what are we going to get with this extra gigabyte of RAM? Now, it all depends how Android really handles that extra gigabyte, but what it really should mean is that your apps don't get dumped out of memory so quickly and therefore you can multitask easier because the apps are open all the time and it should lead to a little bit smoother performance. So we'll have to wait and see how Android actually handles that gigabyte of RAM, but nonetheless it's always good to see more RAM in the device. Now, in terms of the rest of the leaks, we're looking at either a Snapdragon 800 processor or the Exynos 5 Octa, which is what we get in the Galaxy S4 international version I should say and um, for me I would prefer the Snapdragon 800 and because it's not all about cores and really the octa core is two four core sets if you understand what I mean by that the Snapdragon has the new Adreno 330 GPU which is just topping all the benchmarks I can't wait to give that a go and it has obviously the quad core 2.1 or 2.2 gigahertz G uh, CPU as well so it's pretty awesome now in terms of the publication it actually mentions that the Galaxy Note 3 is going to have LTE advanced and the Snapdragon 800 does actually support LTE Advanced, so it's kind of tipping towards the Snapdragon 800, but again, we'll have to wait and see. In terms of the rest of the specs here, because the Galaxy Note always has a big screen, so it's either going to be 5.7 inches or a 6 inch screen. We've seen a massive Xperia Z Ultra, which is like a 6.7 screen, nearly tablet size, which is just crazy. It's probably going to, well, it definitely will come with a 1080p resolution. That's just what everything has now. 13 megapixel camera. It'll pretty much look identical to the Galaxy S4 right now, except it'll be bigger and probably a little bit squarer as well, because it always does. In terms of th weight and thickness, you can see the Galaxy Note will be 8 millimeters thick and weigh 183 grams. So that's a little thinner than the Note 2 and about the same weight. So that's pretty impressive because, you know, Samsung always make their devices slimmer and weigh less. So, yeah, good job there considering we're probably going to have a bigger screen than the Note 2. Better hardware and obviously a higher resolution screen. So, yeah, this is getting kind of interesting with the Note, what they're going to do with it. It's Samsung. It's one of Samsung's biggest flagship devices. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you a Note fan or not? Peace out.